Okay, so today we're talking about finding the probability uh, without replacement. So I'm going to use up each element. And after I finish doing that, we're going to talk about how do I take care of a repeated value. Okay? And so what we're going to do is ask the question, in how many distinct ways can the letters of the word gallant be arranged? Now, it just says arrange in distinct ways. I don't actually have to make real letters, uh, real words. They have to be real letters. They don't have to be real words. Okay, so don't make this more complicated than it really is. So let's just say uh, that I just have seven letters here, right? So now we have to use up all these letters in the word gallant. So this gives us seven choices because in gallant you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters, all right? So as is my practice, I'm going to draw seven boxes to represent each choice I can make. And so those are each of those seven boxes to fill up each of the seven letters from Galleon. All right. So now I pick a letter for the first box. I have seven possibilities for that first box. Okay. So basically all I have to do is put a seven. So that's what I'm going to do now. All right. So a seven goes right here. For my first choice, I can pick any of these seven letters right here, all right? But as soon as I do that, <clears throat> well, now I only have six letters to choose from, right? So what I need to do is I need to put a six in the second box because now I only have six choices for this second, six possibilities for this second choice. Well, as soon as I do that, then I only have five uh, possibilities. And so then this pattern will continue till I fill all of the boxes. All right. So now I only have five possibilities for the third choice, four possibilities for the fourth choice, uh, three possibilities for the fifth choice, two possibilities for the sixth choice, and then there's one solitary number letter left for this seventh choice. It's, it's the leftover guy. All right. And so what I want you to notice right here is, notice that because of the fundamental counting principle, this is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And so this is basically the 7 factorial. So without replacement, basically what we end up with is a factorial. All right? And that's right there. Okay? So 7 factorial is equal to 5,040. So with 7 choices and no replacement, I would have 5,040 possibilities. All right? And that makes us happy. How happy? I'll show you how happy. There's my little shiny smiley face. And the sun is out and everything is bright, you know. And so this is how you would do it without replacement. But wait, we have repeats, okay? Some of these things are repeated, okay? So let's take a look at what that means. So I'm going to scroll up so we can focus a little bit better, all right? So gallant can be G A L L A N T. Right? But what if I took this L and I put it over here? Then you would have G-A-L-L-A-N-T. You're like, wait a minute. That's exactly the same. Okay? Or even if I took the A and I put that A over there and I switched them, right? You would still have G-A-L-L-A-N-T. And these are not distinct. And if you'll remember... That was the criteria in the problem. As I scroll up here, the letters have to be distinct. Right? So what does that mean for us as we go through this problem? All right. That doesn't make a new word or combination. So we need to eliminate some of these non-different, non-distinct combinations. So how do we do that? I don't know. How do we do that? Well, basically, we need to divide them out of this problem, okay? 
Now I want you to think about this, okay, as we're going to divide them out. I have two letter A's, and that means that I can arrange them how many different ways, right? Well, again, I have two A's, so I can pick one of the two A's to be in the first box, but as soon as I do that, I only have one A for the second position, okay? And so again, we have this pattern. Notice the pattern again. If a value is repeated twice, it is the, wait for it, two factorial, okay? So what if I had a value that would repeated three times? I would get the, wait for it, three factorial, right? And then four factorial for four repeats and so on and so forth, okay? So this factorial pattern repeats a lot. Now we see that the A has two repeats and the L has two repeats. Therefore, we need to divide out. For the two A's, I have two factorial. And for the two L's, I have two factorial. And while and a lot of times means add, this and is actually going to be multiply. Okay? And this gives us a final expression of 7 factorial divided by, oops, divided by, in parentheses, 2 factorial times 2 factorial, in parentheses. Okay, so there's another little divided by guy. Um, or 7 factorial over 2 factorial, 2 factorial. The parentheses are really important if you're entering it into a calculator. All right, now this is very easily handled on your calculator. Okay, but if you must do it by hand, here's how I would reduce uh, this particular fraction, you know, uh, to get it in a simpler form. All right, so if we want to do this uh, without the calculator, here's how I would handle the fraction. I'm going to scroll up just a little bit to give us some room. And here we go, right? So 7 factorial is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. All over. The 2 factorial is 2 times 1 and times 2 times 1, all right? So basically the first thing I'm going to do is all these 1s are distracting. When you, Whenever you multiply by 1, you don't change the value. So basically I'm just going to have 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 four times three times two all over two times two okay now there's a couple of ways of going from right here but probably what most students are gonna see is that two times two is four right and I have a four up here and so this will reduce to a one alright and so now four over four right four over four is equal to one so that's what happens here. Do not use the word cancel. Okay, that is not what happened. Those values did not go away. So now, basically what I have is 7 times 6 times 5 times 3 times 2, right? All over 1. But really, I don't need the over 1 because anything divided by 1 is just itself. All right? And so now I just need to multiply this. Now, if you still have to, like keep multiplying right by hand or something like that notice that 3 times 2 is 6 right so you've got 7 times 6 times 5 times 6 all right and then what would I probably do here 6 times 5 probably put the 6 times 5 together I put the 3 times 2 together here so I'm gonna have 7 times 30 times 6 and then go ahead and put the 7 and the 6 together so you have 42 times 30 and the reason I did that is because the 0 right is just gonna go at the end and then 3 times 2 is uh, 6 and 3 times 4 is 12 and so I get a final answer of 1260 possible combinations. 
this process will work for pretty much everything without replacement and if you have repeated values and you need distinct combinations and so this makes us happy uh, join me for another video on another day I hope this helped